Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. All right. Um, firstly, um, let's start off by looking at uh, uh, the the last two years because on on, on this weekend, uh, the twelfth, uh, the, the, the 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 UPND government did clock um, two years in the government, and uh, the, we've been quoted as saying that um, they have done fairly. Their, 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 their performance has been fair in in the, in the last uh, two years. What what made you arrive at that? Uh, thank you very much, comrade and listeners out there. No, Zambia was not uh, uh, formed after 2021, uh, uh, 12th of August, uh, tripartite election. Mm -hmm. Zambia was formed um, in 1964. And uh, from 1964 up to that, we had different um, uh, governments in place. And government, each and every government which have governed this country, they have done their part. And uh, the question which you have posed uh, of um, UPND the two years in, uh, in government, um, there are a lot of um, uh, issues which we can point at, and uh, issues which have um, uh, been discussed, debated by the people out there. Yeah. So my statement uh, when I issued a statement uh, saying uh, uh, the UPND two years uh, in power, uh, it was fair. Uh, it is a statement which uh, I considered to be uh, a suitable statement uh, by the time I was issuing that statement, putting into consideration that um, there are things which they have done uh, which uh, uh, is good to the people of Zambia. And there are things which they have done which the people of Zambia are complaining about. Uh, issues such as uh, uh, the, uh, the cost of, uh, of living which has gone high. And the people are complaining. They are complaining that uh, Miri Miu has gone up and they want um, a solution from, uh, from the government. The people are complaining about um, uh, the fuel uh, prices. The people are complaining about a lot of things which uh, they want government to work on. But uh, in uh, this uh, circle of complaining, there are other things which uh, the people have said, okay, this is, uh, uh, this is good. I remember when uh, uh, President Akainda Ichirema signed uh, the partial withdrawal of um, NAPSA. A lot of people, they were excited and we saw the queues on um, NAPSA uh, buildings wanting to withdraw the, the partial uh, withdrawal. Uh, the issue to do with uh, uh, the street, uh, uh, street uh, no, the, the cadres. You know, one of the issues which uh, uh, people complained when we were in government is the issue to do with uh, the cadres and uh, the, the UPND they came and uh, they said uh, they are not going to tolerate uh, cadalism okay uh, whether uh, uh, cadalism uh, it is not 100 percent ended you can see that um, uh, the word uh, which came from the, the, the president uh, helped to reduce um, uh, the cadarism in our in our country. So uh, there are other things which they 
they have done well other things which say they are still struggling to uh, to do so that statement it was a fair statement it was a fair statement in the sense that uh, it is not uh, everything which uh, UPND has done which is uh, the bad thing to to the people of Zambia yes I'm in opposition and I want to uh, to to, to do politics but it's not always that we have to do politics politics are yeah, there yes but when you see something good you say okay you have done something good here yeah. here you're making a mistake and that is the type of politics which i want to uh, to to practice as bowman okay in many <coughs> uh, fora i've featured people have said oh, you have changed Sit down there, cooler. I'm growing. Okay. Yeah. My aim is to become president of this country, and uh, when I talk about something, I have to be objective. So as, as others have even made mention that uh, the reason there has been a change of heart is because um, you've had uh, cases to answer where in, in the in the courts of law, and these are so these are these are things that they've cited to say these are the things that may have caused the change of heart in terms of your approach to uh, the criticism for the current government? Not at all. Not at all. Criticis criticizing government, I will be criticizing government, but I have to criticize government where it is necessary to criticize government. When it is not necessary to criticize government, I will keep quiet. And uh, when it is time to, uh, to condemn government, I will condemn government at that particular time. And at this point, we are telling government that can you work out uh, 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 something concerning milling because these are the things which uh, I taught the Minister of Agriculture when I was in the house and they uh, have been issuing statement concerning uh, the, the price of milling I have been issuing statement concerning uh, exporting of maize and milling to our neighboring countries uh, we have been that, doing that and they uh, have advised government you saw me going to IMF offices to dropping the letter to IMF officers, uh, advising government about IMF. So when it is time to criticize government, I've been there criticizing government. But it's not uh, always that uh, I have to criticize government. I have to criticize government when it is necessary. And remember, uh, as area alluded to, my political journey ends when I become president of this country. And I want to be president who will be president for all Zambians, a president who will call a spade, a spade, not a president who will be pointed fingers at you, you said this, but you're not doing what you said, okay? I want also to be respected when it, I become it, president. It, it's, it's interesting that you say that you, uh, you, you, you want to be, uh, to be, to be president. It uh, is not interesting. No, no, it's, it's a good thing. It's yes, a good yes, thing it's a good you're, thing. That you're there aspiring to, yes, to, yes. to be president. But mm -hmm. one, one thing I want to, to, to make mention is that the, the, the Patriotic Front um, has not announced its, uh, it, it, its its leader yet in in the last uh, um, two years and uh, right right now we've got um, uh, the, the Zambia police has denied the Patriotic Front from holding its uh, scheduled uh, mass public rally in Muchinga grounds in in Zingalume area in in Matero constituency. What, what what is your take on this and and and, and, uh, and also the position of the of the political party right now? Thank you very much. So the issue to do with the leader of the Patriotic Front is not uh, it's non issue, okay because. Uh, the Patriotic Front has a leader and the name of Edgar Chakwalungu. Edgar Chakwalungu was voted in as president of the Patriotic Front in um, somewhere in August or so, uh, 20, uh, before, to, before August 2021, but private election. And Edgar Lungu was a mandate to go up to uh, somewhere 2026 as president of the Patriotic Front. So the Patriotic Front, the president is there. Okay? Mm -hmm. The president has been there. We have a president in the name of Edgar Chagua Lung. And he's there. He went through the convention and he won as president of the party. So there's no one who can come and cheat here that the PF had no leader for the past two years. We have. Whatever things but, but which we do, some, some gray areas there with the, 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 the former no. president is actively in politics or not? He is. He is active in politics. Is our president? He is active in politics. Is our president? 
he just uh, uh, on leave. That's why we have uh, a, a vice president uh, in the name of uh, Given the Wind. So I want to put this uh, issue uh, to bed. The PF has a party. We have a president. And the name of our president is President Edgar Chagwa Lung. We have no apology to make because that is our club and uh, we went through the convention and we picked a president, a suitable person to preside over the affairs of our party. And the president is there. Whatever things which we do, there is nothing which goes on in our party without President Lungu having a say on it. Okay? He's on leave, mm -hmm. but we consult him. There's nothing that you can do in PF without consulting President Lungu. Because he's the president of the party. He is the president of the party. The issue to do with uh, the, the, the scheduled rally in uh, Matero, it's very unfortunate that the police uh, decided to deny uh, the Patriotic Front uh, uh, to express to express their, um, their democratic right. Okay, the issue of the permit, the patriotic front, they followed the procedure. Okay, they wrote to the police. They went even a step further to the council because of uh, the issue which uh, we brought during the COVID-19 when you want to have a, a, a big gathering. Uh, you go to police and you go to, uh, to, to, to the council in your locality. I think we did that, okay? And uh, according to the Public Order Act, actually, we're not supposed to get permission uh, from the police. We just have to notify the police that the, on such a day, we'll be having a meeting in this area. Okay, and the police will know that, okay, in this area, the PF, the UPND, they are conducting a rally. It is not within police's uh, the right to say, okay, go ahead or don't go ahead. We just have to notify them. Oh, That's well, well, they, they did, they, it's also within their right to advise on whether uh, the, the, their security concerns uh, for, 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 a, for a public gathering. So they did advise that uh, you, 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 you shouldn't go ahead with, uh, with the rally, but the party has, has responded saying, look, we will still go ahead um, with, the, with the scheduled rally. I know that uh, the Vice President, uh, given during yesterday, visited the Office of the Inspector General of Police and uh, I'm yet to get um, the full uh, report or the full information from their discussion and uh, I can't comment on the, 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 the forward uh, uh, communication of uh, saying we are going ahead with uh, the rally because uh, I don't know what they discussed. Maybe the Inspector General of Police told uh, Vice President Rubinda that go ahead uh, with uh, uh, with a rally. So I'm yet to to get that information. All right, let's let's talk about uh, uh, the, the one other thing that uh, that has been um, that has made news in the last couple of weeks, where there has been calls uh, for the president to declare his heart, his, his assets uh, from the from a section of society, uh, with the latest call coming from um, opposition uh, a political party member uh, uh, Shimba Kamwili. Uh, why hasn't the president declared his assets on on this particular one? What, what is what is your position on this one? Um. The issue of declaring uh, assets, I think uh, it's an issue which uh, all of us we are aware that um, we have to uh, to declare assets, especially when we are seeking for a political office uh, like MP, uh, president, and uh, I don't know uh, because I'm yet to go to the High Court and go and check when the president was filing in his uh, uh, nominations, if he really he did not uh, 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 declare his, uh, uh, his assets. And if he did not, I think the president has uh, uh, handlers who are supposed to, uh, to advise the, uh, the president to do the, uh, the right thing. 
So for me, uh, Mr. D uh, Dr. Kambuiri, my elder brother, he has brought up this uh, issue and the ultimatums have been given. And we just wait and see where we'll go uh, with this issue. But it's, but it's been two years that we are ha we're having this conversation. What, 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 are, what are the areas uh, that, that this might affect if, if we continue without the president declaring glasses? Actually, it's not uh, us uh, as opposition a job to tell the president to declare glasses. It's you, the journalist. No, we, we are. But, we're but bringing, you are not. Uh, no. We're bringing, we're bringing, that's why we're bringing it up here so that we hear. We are bringing up from. from no, you, you, no, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are bringing up here because someone talked about it. But your job as journalist is to go out there, go and interview the president, ask the president why, Mr. President, have you refused to declare your assets? And the president will, will be glad to, to answer uh, these questions. But I can assure you that you journalists, you are missing somewhere. You are supposed to do your job. And you have brought this as a topic because Kambu really talked about it. Okay? You as investigative journalists are supposed to know that this uh, uh, president is something that uh, we need to find out from him. Let's go and uh, uh, ask him this question. I've been seeing you guys at the airport. I've been seeing you guys at the function where the president is attending. Some of you, instead of asking pertinent questions to the president, you start asking about relevant questions to the president. See? You ask about questions which will benefit the people of Zambia. Okay? You are a very important uh, a, a partner in development. Okay? We work together. When government, uh, uh, journalists, and uh, uh, let me see, uh, civil societies, we work as a team. Okay? We work as a team. Our aim is to make sure that we uplift the living standards of our people. We add value uh, to, to, to our people. But sometimes uh, I get shocked when I'm seeing the journalist asking the questions to the president. They're asking things which is not uh, 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 which, which is not important. Okay? So this is a very important issue. So when you see the president next, I know the president will be at the airport at any time. Ask him about this question. And you'll be in the position of, uh, of answering because he's the owner. The, he's the one who's supposed to declare this, uh, this assets. In, interesting that you should, uh, you should say that. And it's a call to all journalists uh, made by um, I mean, Mr. Dusambo here. Uh, let's, let's, let's address um, the, the, the most important um, uh, issue, which is the cost of living, um, which has been a thorny issue uh, for, for some time with uh, the, the price of staple food out of reach for, uh, for, for, for majority Zambians, minimum uh, pitching for around 300 kwacha um, in some areas. Could have been gone above that. Um, I'm not, 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 not quite sure on that one. But with that said, um, what is your take on how the UPNG has handled uh, the issues to do with the cost of living in the last two years? I thank you very much. The issue is not uh, the cost of living. First of all, the issue is to do with the agriculture policy. Okay, uh, we have seen that uh, the UPND, when they assumed power in 20, uh, 26, 2021, the agriculture policy it has been uh, 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 very bad. Okay, we have been seeing that uh, uh, fertilizer has been. Uh, uh, let me just say farming inputs. The farming inputs people have been. The farmers have been receiving the farming inputs very late, and we hope and trust that uh, this time around uh, things would change. But again, I was saying in the newspapers last week that uh, uh, this is. Uh, this is what? This is August. Yeah. Uh, the issue to do with the suppliers of Yulia, it is not yet concluded. Okay? I saw that 18 uh, suppliers have been shortlisted. But up to today, we don't know who is going to supply the Yulia to our people. Okay? So even the 2023-2024 farming season, it will be a disaster. So the issue to address here, we have to address the issue to do with agriculture policies, okay? And the minister himself, the minister of agriculture, is very quiet. He's supposed to be here. 
explaining to the people of Zambia where we are and what we expect in this uh, farming season. Okay. Most the problem which we have with the most of the ministers in our colleagues government, they want the president to be a spokesperson always. Okay. They are overloading that man. Okay. He's just a human being like you, like me. Okay. He's just a human being. Okay. You know, Manawasa died in that office because of pressure. That is not a small office. It's a big office, that one. Okay? It's a big office. Okay? And we don't want another casualty in that office. So our advice to the UPND uh, ministers, help the president. Explain the challenges to the people. Explain to the people. What, what are the so, things in, in, in explaining the challenge? Uh, Mr. Hayimbe recently was quoted saying that um, the reason why we are experiencing this the, the, the high cost of living is because of the carelessness of the of the patriotic front. Yesterday, um, Madam Chu Shikasanda said that look, we took office and we found a dirty table, and uh, we are now cleaning the table, and we should be uh, able to, to to be able to, to to eat properly very soon once the table is is properly is properly clean. They found a dirty house, which your government, uh, the Patriotic Front, left. It's very, it's very interesting, uh, very interesting, huh? Because uh, the dirty table we are talking about is a table which was said in Mirimu to the people at 120 kwacha. The dirty table which we are talking about is uh, the table which was said in fuel at 16 kwacha. The dirty table which they are talking about. It's a table which gave fertilizer uh, to the, the farmers on time. And not only fertilizer, let me say farming inputs, because we gave seed, we gave fertilizer, we gave transport to the doorstep of our uh, small-scale uh, farmers. Okay? So this issue of um, blaming the, the PF, it's wrong overdue. Okay? The UPND ministers, they should come out of unmoon mood. Let them now work to the expectation of the people of Zambia. The issue to do with PF, it's gone, man. It's gone. Two years in office, you're talking about uh, your wife's ex-boyfriend. Two years, you're just talking about your wife's ex-boyfriend. You're encouraging your wife to, 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 to dump you, to go back to, 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 to the ex. We're having because, a conversation uh, with... The, the, your wife will now be wondering, uh, is this man uh, able to keep me? Is this man able to, to, to sustain my life? Because everything is about my ex. Everything is about my ex. Because you risk losing that woman. Before we even get to taking uh, some calls from the general public and in terms as far as the views uh, on some of the things that we've uh, highlighted, uh, another major issue is also um, the, 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 the mining sector. Um, it, the, the, recently we had um, um, Mr. Kabuse who came out and said, look, um, this was month end of, 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 of last month where he said, look, well, we're still in negotiations with Mopani and KCM. Um, as far as the mining sector and the policy that we've adopted um, uh, under the, uh, the new Don administration, um, what, what, what is your take on as far as where we are as a country? Well, first and foremost, I'm the copper belt son uh, of the soil. Okay, I'm not from a copper belt just because uh, uh, I followed something from the copper belt, but I'm Lama by tribe, and the uh, copper belt is part of my heritage. And uh, I treasure a copper belt like any other, uh, 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 no other things. But the issue is, I want to copper belt very children. Okay. In all the districts, the party of the Bale Chul, Mkopa Bale Chul, and Konse Bale Chul, because the the economic activities of Mkopa Bale is about mining. President Lungu tried to diversify the economy of the Mkopa Bale province from mining uh, dependency into agriculture and aquaculture. He really tried, President Rungu. If you go to the Copper Belt province, you go to Mufrida, you find um, Musakashi, um, uh, uh, Farmbrook, 
you go to Rufanyama, you find uh, a farm block in uh, Rufanyama, and the uh, President Lungu tried to empower the ex miners with land in Rufanyama, in uh, uh, Chingola, and, uh, and the surrounding areas of the Copper Belt province, just to try and uh, diversify the economy of the Copper Belt province from uh, mining dependency into agriculture. But today, the main stake of Copper Belt economy is, 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 is mining. And uh, we have two mining uh, giants on the Copper Belt. It's KCM and, uh, and Mupani. And the issue to do with KCM and Mupani, my brother, uh, Honorable Musupa, I think uh, he, he, he labored to explain very well when he featured on um, uh, 5FM. And that is a position, especially on uh, uh, on the KCM. That's a position, okay? And for us as a Copper Belt residents, we don't need uh, uh, Agawa to come back to, uh, to the Copper Belt province because we know the old man, okay? My father was telling me uh, before he died, he told me, a woman, when you see the old man, you see wisdom and uh, you see uh, a person to keep a village. But uh, to Agawa, it's contrary. When you see Agawa, an old man, you're seeing a cook, a person who has come to bend the village. Okay? And that is not what we want on the Copper Belt province. We want a person to come and revamp the mining industry on the Copper Belt province. And we risk it because uh, the more we delay to give the next investor of Mpani, uh, especially of KCM, uh, by the time we'll be giving the, the, the investor, uh, you'll find that most of the equipment will be obsolete, okay? And it will be very expensive for that uh, investor to invest in that uh, uh, the, the mining uh, the, the firm. So, Copper Belt Province, as we speak, we are suffering. And the, the Minister for, for Mines is from Copper Belt Province. He's aware about these things. The Minister of Commerce is from Copper Belt Province and he's aware about these things. Okay? That's a beauty which we have. Okay? The Minister of Commerce is from the Copper Belt Province. The Minister of Mines is from the Copper Belt Province. And the, the two ministers, they know how critical it is for us as Copper Belt Province to have Mupani and KCM back on the track. As we speak now, the fight over, over against corruption, um, a major issue. Um, first of all, uh, we, we've seen it's, it's part of the reason why even the, 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 there's been a delayment in, um, uh, in, 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 in giving a, a contract to uh, someone to, for the supply of uh, urea, like you mentioned, uh, you mentioned earlier, uh, because they, they cited some issues um, around that. But the fight against corruption in the new Don administration, of course, we had the issue of the Suji Light Saga in, um, in, 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 in the Ruapula province. Now we've got uh, the issue of uh, a plane at the airport and, and, and things like that. But w w having seen how the fight against corruption has been conducted in the last two years, uh, what do you make of, of, of this fight against corruption before we start taking in some course? Uh, the fight against corruption uh, in the last two years, it has been centered on the former um, uh, government officials, which is not supposed to be the case. When you go to the courts uh, today, you see the people who are in the corridors of the courts are the former government officials. And uh, for me, the uh, fight against corruption is supposed to, to look at the bigger picture, not only the former uh, government officials, but also the current officials, government officials, and other people within the country. I want to give you, me, as a practical example. There's nothing that I've done. Okay? There is nothing that I've done. I'm a proud person. I worked in government, and I walk in the streets of Lusaka and the streets of Zambia with my head high. Whether I'm in court, whether I'm arrested, I'm very proud because there's nothing that I've done. Okay? There is nothing that I've done. Even the investigative wings, they know that there is nothing that Bowman has done. Okay? 
it is all about politics and this is what we don't want okay arrest Bowman and tell Bowman that Bowman we're arresting you because you committed this offense okay but there's nothing that I've done the, the, the offense I've committed is to build the house the offense I've committed is to uh, to be in politics my friend i worked as a minister for Kota Belt province minister for Lusaka province i know they have investigated and they have found nothing let's okay. hear from uh, the general public so, some questions on 0977-977-860 but continue so the investigative wins we have to encourage them we have to encourage uh, uh, anti-corruption commission to work hard we have to encourage the the dead to work hard extra hard okay not only uh, to the former government officials but beyond the former government officials okay let us say uh, support these two offices okay right. and these two offices they cannot work in isolation they have to work in conjunction with the people of Zambia, you and me, when you see something which is not uh, uh, good in your eyes, and you see, oh, apa, that if you don't do it, you go to SEC. SEC, they have got young and energetic, uh, young and energetic, uh, uh, right. young we, we officers. Have a, we have a call yes. line. Um, I think I think you can uh, put in your headphones. Uh, but please, your name and where you're calling us from. Good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Charles Mbewe, Mr. Fresh on the line, Lusaka, Zambia. Okay. Um, go ahead with your with with your with, with your with your comment or contribution or question. Good for, morning, Honorable uh, Lusaka Minister. Yes. Good morning, Honorable. Good morning. Uh, uh, yes. How are you? Not, uh, I'm all right. I'm all right. Uh, we are pushing despite uh, Janza Kunjala. We are surviving. Um. So far. I think uh, we, 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 me personally, from my point of view, as a citizen of this land, we are in um, not uh, a good shape as a country. Looking at the current happenings, we are in a messy that people are just doing what they can do. This is the government that promised Zambia heaven on earth. And so far, there is nothing tangible that has been done which we can point at. Okay? Personally, look at the, the recent happenings, most especially the, the recent scandal which uh, happened at the airport. The simple question that I have to all Zambians and the, the police, the, civil, uh, the, 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 the whole command of police in, in terms of security, who allowed that airplane to come in? For what purpose? What was the whole idea? For these things to to, to for, 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 for for the plane to land, okay, we beg answers. These are things that we 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 have been told to shut to shut up. We should not talk. But we are, we are expecting them to explain. Who allowed this plane to come in? Why is Zambia Air Force? For them, for, for, for them not to see the, the airplane that came, we don't know whether God came. We are now told to say it's not God. I have a question for um, um, uh, Mr. Bowman Dusambo. For I, I don't really have a question, but uh, uh, I just want to recommend you, Honorable Bowman Dusambo, continue doing your best. You are the man that uh, we, we expect such men. And let's not just look, these are the people that never thought that, um, you know, they, they can hear a good side from you, most of that you, Bowman. You were criticized day in, day out. Okay, so don't even give them room to say we should do expect them, I mean, to criticize them at a good There is no good time. These are the people that never supported anything good from the previous government. And let's not give them, uh, you know, kids' growth. Uh, thank you very much that, for your contribution. Let's uh, take in some that. more calls. The number is 0977-977-860. That's 0977-977. Make, keep your comments short because we have very limited time uh, in which for uh, the, the minister, uh, the former minister can um, uh, respond to those uh, queries. You're, you're through to um, Breakfast City. Your name and where you're calling from. Good morning once more again. Y come again? I'm saying good morning to you. Good morning to you, sir. Thanks a lot, my brother. Good morning, Honorable Sambo. Good morning. Thank you, sir. 
Women are not equal to five Yavana. How am I going to survive? Thank you, Lapoma Nisham. 2026 is coming. Let it go, did judge us. Take another call. The number is 0977977. I think our two last calls because Mr. Boman Nisham is supposed to be out of, um, uh, supposed to be somewhere else. But let's take in two last calls and then uh, uh, we, we, we we call it a day. 0977977860. Hello, you're through to Breakfast City. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Your name and where you're calling from? My name is Malama and I'm calling from Chawama. Hi, Malama. Uh, go ahead with your comments or contribution or question for uh, Mr. Boman Losambo. I want to speak to the Honorable. With all due respect, I think PF, it's about time that PF stopped being so hypocritical. The PF was a big cut when they were in power. HH could not even go anywhere, not even to the market. We should not have a market that we have to go to the market. And then, then today, just to take one time that the police are told them not to hold their, their rights, they are all and about trying to play innocent. And let me tell you something, I think it's even more hypocritical for the police to be commenting about the issue of the news when they are the ones who listen to this economy by feeling. <laughs> particular call um would you, would you like to respond to that quickly if we the lama lama if we the land the land of the land of the lama lama you know the land of the lama lama the land of the lama no to Kulanda Chato, Nine Bangu for Papa Radio. Bantu of Mulelanda, Nava Brurushe, Nava Miseka San of Mulelanda. In a Montu Ganadi Mulufiene, Nangu Montu Adin Dufiene, Mushina in a Kubakisha, but Nine Mulufiene. If you have a life fish, Montu Gadi Kufiene, Kumulanga no, but okay, enough for Nava, Nifi. So okay, <laughs> so if you are not going to be president, you are not going to be a market, you are not going to be a market. 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 You are not going to be a Because that is our biggest market in, in, in dollar. Ba kapoko la baishe na malandu kuzaa six na chile 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 la yote cha wachile cha kundola namba ni shia ripoa ero inendi kano na feta bomba ni budo zaru sambu nda edi galungo gai yako kuna na kumasala tetuwa mkuu ongeve namba fe na na batari ni onse ya kopa beot province okay so huko pia ba ala ma politics shia ya tia ndoto tafya ma politics si Hello, I want to have an Okay, okay. Let's take some calls uh, due to time. Uh, let's take one, one, one more call. We are through to Breakfast City. Uh, good morning, Honorable Boxham. Good morning, thank you. Um, my name is Gaston Leng, uh, calling from Chawama. Okay. I have two, three questions for you, Honorable Boxham. On the issue of uh, the president of Patriot Plant, President Tinungu, you are saying is on lead. How can you advertise the position when someone is on lead? Because we saw names the coming, uh, nominated the, for the position of the president. And the, the second question is um, on the issue of um, the land. You people, when you were in government, they were accused to amend the Public Order Act. And we are very arrogant to amend the, that piece of law. Do you think now it is haunting you? The third question. Um, it, I like the, 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 pos the position that you've taken on the performance of the uh, UPND government. My question to you is the, if they... The, the government of today, the UPND government, called you to work together with them. Can you allow any position in government? I thank you. I can answer that one. I think. Right. Uh, 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 yes. 
Uh, and what's his name again? I've lost, I've lost it. But yes, there's a guy from Chawama. Yes. Okay, thank you very much, comrade. Uh, I'll start uh, with uh, accepting the position in government. I think I'm not interested. I've been a minister uh, before. I've been a minister, not a small minister, a big minister. Okay? Uh, Copper Belt Minister, Lusaka Province Minister, big, big, big minister, uh, uh, position. Okay? And uh, uh, UPND, our prayer is that they succeed. That's our prayer. That they succeed. When they succeed, the Zambian people have succeeded. When they fail, the Zambian people have failed. Okay? So, where we are now, it's beyond President Taka in the HLM. Where we are now, it's beyond Garin Combo. It's beyond uh, 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 Chipoka Mulenga. Where we are now, it's about Zambia. Okay? It's about Zambia. Okay? And as opposition, we have to be uh, the alternative government in waiting. Okay? Alternative government in waiting. How are we going to be recognized as alternative government in waiting? Alternative government in waiting, you bring solutions on the table. You bring solution on the table by advising a uh, government what is best for the people of Zambia. So the issue to do with me joining uh, the Patriotic Front, the, 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 the UPN, it's not there. The issue which I want to see is to see to it that the government of the day succeeds and provides the necessary services to the people of Zambia. What are these services? The people of Zambia, they need good policies in agriculture. They need good policies in, in health. We want medicine in hospitals. We want uh, uh, agriculture inputs to, 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 de to be delivered to the small scale farmers on time. We want uh, uh, the, the issue to do with Public Order Act to be worked on. And this is the issue which we started through Bill 10. Okay, Our colleagues, they had to shoot down the Bill 10 where we were supposed to attend to the issue to do with Public Order Act. So for me, I'm not trying to join uh, the UPND or if the UPND extended uh, the inv invitation to me that woman come and join, there's no position which I can get in the UPND. Or the positions in the UPND are occupied and we want the UPND people to have those positions. My job is to make sure that I criticize the UPND when they have done something wrong and I encourage the UPND when they have done something right and I want the people of Zambia to benefit from the leadership of the UPND. If the UPND fails today, the people of Zambia, they have failed and the people of Zambia, they will make a decision uh, in 2020 26 August 12 to see who will be the next uh, uh, the next uh, the next uh, the next president so for me uh, for uh, nothing to hide I want to make sure that uh, we succeed as a country I know that uh, I'm in opposition my job as opposition is to point out the mistakes which our colleagues are making is to call the the, the spread a spread when something is going good we say we are good here we are not good here that is politics politics is not all about uh, insulting politics is not all about uh, uh, being against uh, the government of the day that is not uh, uh, that is not politics okay so for me if i want to be president tomorrow do you expect me to just sit and say okay that is not fair that is not fair Okay, so for me, going forward, I want to answer to my colleague from Ch Chawama. I'm not uh, here for joining the, the, the party. I'm here to strengthen the PF so that we bounce back in government in 2026. All right, um, thank you very much for making time for us, and we hope to have uh, another time where we can have more, yeah, more, time. Com more conversations. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. All right, that's uh, former Lusaka Province Minister. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.